Hi everyone, today I want to do a demonstration on does a briki affect your coffee? So whether it's a Greek, Turkish style coffee, Greek style coffee, whatever you want to call it. I know I've got a bit of complaints from the Turkish folk watching the video, my previous one on Greek coffee. Um, we're going to use three different brikia. One's going to be a stainless steel, one's going to be a brass with a thin opening, one's going to be a heavier set brass and We'll use exactly the same ingredients so let's show you what i'm okay. talking about so here we are here's a different coffee so i've got a lot of flack from the previous video there's greek style and there's turkish style so it's a different type of coffee probably all made from the same beans but just probably darker roast i would say for the turkish and a bit lighter for the greek um, and here are the brikia so we've got a stainless steel standard briki a brass this is a bit thinner set this was from Thessaloniki and this I actually just purchased last year from Crete so from a coffee shop it's a bit thicker wider opening so we're going to use the same ingredients for each cup we'll time it same flame and then we'll see what the outcome is let's start off with coffee number one okay. we'll start off with the stainless steel dicky so try to do this carefully so one cup of water, a heap teaspoon of coffee, I prefer about half a sugar, okay, the sugar content depends on how you like your coffee, I prefer mine not very sweet, and I put it, the cup on the We've got the timer going. Now, what I normally do is I wait for about 30 seconds or so before I start mixing the ingredients. I let it settle down. I don't think it makes much of a difference, but that's the way I like doing it. I let the water heat up a bit so I don't have to stir as much. And we'll give it a stir and then we'll come back as it's starting to boil. I think it's about the two and a half to three minute mark when the coffee's ready. So I just give it a good and cook. Luckily I've got this container here, the little holder. Doesn't help when you're doing this with one hand. Give it a nice stir. Okay, that should be sufficient. Okay. The ingredients are inside mixed up. It's now 58 seconds. We'll be back as it boils. Okay. I forgot actually how long this takes, but let's see. So the coffee is starting to come to a boil. Now, you don't let it overboil. So let's see if I can film this. You wait for it to form a nice heat. I think that's it, starting to rise a little bit. And that's done. Okay, so let's pour this in. I'm not a coffee expert, but I think that hot there we go. Let's see if it forms a nice kaimaki, as the Greeks call it. So, to me, this is from the beautiful crema or kaimaki. Let me give it a taste test. Very nice. It's um tastes exactly the way I want it to taste. Let's try our next biki being the the thinner brass. So I place the right amount of water and I'll put the same amount of coffee. And sugar's already been placed for the purpose of time. Reset the clock, start, let it sit in there for 30 odd seconds. The problem with these experiments is that you end up drinking three Greek coffees in a row, or Turkish coffees, sorry, this is Turkish style coffee, um, and you end up becoming hyper. So again, we're starting to, this is a thinner briki, um, a lot thinner than this brass one here, a bit harder to 
manipulate and get your stir in there. But apart from stirring for a few seconds, there's not much that you need to do. Okay, we'll now come back when it's come to a boil. I made a demonstration previously of um, making a Greek coffee and I got a lot of comments from a lot of the Turkish viewers saying it's Turkish coffee, it's not Greek. You know what? Who cares? I just read the labels. This one says Greek style, this one says Turkish style. Probably made from Brazilian beans. Um, so remember, when you do drink these coffees, don't um, drink the sediment at the end because the sediment at the end at the base of your coffee, once all the, the liquid's gone, it's like a mud. So just a reminder for those who are not familiar with this coffee, um, don't skull the end part. Anyway, let's come back as this is approaching to a boil. Okay, what time is it now? It's 3 minutes and 20 seconds into this boil. Let's see if I can get there without burning my phone, but this is actually starting to cook as we're speaking. I'll take it off. So this is 3 minutes and 30 seconds. Let's see what the result is. Okay. To me, it's formed a nice... Okay, Mikey. 3 minutes 30 seconds, this one. Um, I'd say it's probably because it was a bit thinner, so let me just see. The make is nice. Mm. Taste is basically exactly the same. You can see this is freshly made. This one I've had a couple of sips, but you can see already the Kaimaki has disappeared, but that's normal. Okay, You normally drink the Kaimaki first, and eventually the mud will be left. I'll actually get down to the mud whilst the next one boils to show you. All right, let's get ready with number three. So I've already added the sugar. Don't wanna try to keep the same amount of coffee. Okay. There. Onto the heat. Now this being reset the clock, start. Time is starting again. I'll just give it a few seconds. The sugar's already been placed in there. Same amount of water, same amount of sugar, pretty much the same amount of coffee. Um, I'll try to continue drinking this. Now this is a heavier set brass. Make it wider, easier to manage. Nice wooden handle. Those metallic handles, I've seen them on some brickyard. They're very hard to handle, so be careful. Um, have a think, especially if you're going to be making a lot of coffees frequently. You don't want to be burning your fingers every time you make a coffee. But we'll give it a stir. Okay, the, sh the liquids. And this stirrer, again, it's a brass stirrer. I picked that up from Greece when I was in Crete, Kanya. The little coffee shop there. A spoon probably does exactly the same thing. But let's have a look at this. And they're all um, coated, these brikia, so they're safe to use. Be careful, don't use the ones that aren't coated internally. I think these are like a, a tin coating. And we'll be back. Okay, it's two minutes and 50 seconds into the boil. I think this is actually heading there. Good thing to do with coffee is to... If I wasn't doing an experiment, I'd be raising it slightly. Let's see if I can get the inside. You can see it's starting to boil now and off it comes. Okay. That was three minutes in. Okay, that's nice. Okay, lovely. Okay, making on it. And that was three minutes and twenty seconds. Let me turn off the timer. And again. 
probably tastes exactly the same as the other one. But before I taste this one, what I want to do is show you, you can see down the bottom here, I've drunk most of it, but there's like a sludge. Oh. Right, don't drink that because it does not taste very nice and you'll end up with a sandy taste in your mouth. Let's give it a taste okay, test. So what have we learnt? Um, let me taste it. You know what, taste-wise, they're all exactly the same, to be honest. Um, they've all had a nice kamaki on it. I don't think anyone would complain. Um, that's the secret of a Greek or Turkish coffee or Arabic coffee. Um, that nice little crema or kamaki that forms on top. Have a nice glass of cold water. Um, out of the three, well, I think the, the, the heavy brass ones seem to have cooked pretty much the quickest. Um, the stainless steel one surprisingly wasn't as quick. I thought it would have been quicker, um, but obviously it wasn't as quick. That actually took nearly, I don't know, 40 seconds or more more um, than this last one. Um, so yeah, doesn't matter, not really. I think the coffee is important, the different types of coffee. This Greek style coffee is a lot lighter. Um, so some people prefer the coffee not as strong. Um, that was, that's the style I'd get. The Turkish coffee I find is a lot um, darker, stronger in flavour, um, but I do like a strong coffee, so um, enjoy, you know, give it a try, it doesn't really matter as I showed you here, um, just get some fresh coffee, some friends and enjoy yourselves, okay, thanks and subscribe.